Hey guys, Clint Darden here with ClintDarden.com and of course the house of biceps. I had a question that came in from the YouTubes. Actually, it was a comment on one of my videos. Uh, quite interesting. The gentleman wants to know why is it that bodybuilders uh, and, and weightlifters always try to start fights? Uh, it's a pretty simple question. Uh, the little goober heads whatever you want to call them in the gym that think they're weightlifters or bodybuilders or whatever they think they are. Uh, the ones that are out there wearing the tap out shirts and, and uh, whatever affliction I think you know they call them. Uh, those little guys, those aren't bodybuilders or weightlifters. They just you know go to the gym and have a good time. Uh, those are invisible lat syndrome sufferers. You know that's who that is. Uh, the, the people who actually lift weights, the bodybuilders who actually get on stage uh, and compete, you know, the strong men, uh, power lifters, you know, the real football players, uh, athletes of any kind, they don't want to get in a fight. They want to avoid a fight at all cost. Uh, for the most part, training is their passion. Uh, and, and if they get hurt, I mean, if something happened, if they broke a knuckle or twisted a finger or got a, you know, a big scratch somewhere, couldn't train that'd be the worst part about it so who wants to get into a fight part two I've got a beard nobody with a beard gets into a fight guys with beards just look mean they're not mean you know if I saw a guy with a beard like mine that tried to fight me the first thing I would do is grab the beard and rip it off his face or guide his head around with it and then try to beat the heck out of him uh, guys with beards don't fight that's part two part three People who really lift weights are beat up. Uh, I mean, right now, both my feet hurt. I've got one knee that, that kind of hurts a little bit, uh, patellar tendon. Uh, my right hip's a little sore. My lower back is tight. Uh, my left wrist is uh, sprained. Uh, my right collarbone is dislocated. I don't know if you can see the swelling uh, across my neck and across my collarbone. Um, you know, my fingers hurt, you know, and I've got to squat on Thursday. So, I mean, there's no way I'm going to get in a fight. You know, I'm not even going to yell something at somebody, you know, because it'll raise cortisol levels, levels and, and that makes you weaker. Who wants to mess with that stuff? So, you know, the, the, the people who actually lift weights, the people who actually compete, uh, they're too busy getting stuff done. You know, they're too busy smashing weights. You know, they're too busy eating, cooking, being at home, uh, sleeping, resting, preparing for the next big awesome thing they're going to do. Uh, they're too busy with all that to worry about fights. So, you know, the little goofballs at the gym, screw them.